Hello again, Frank from the Old Town Coleman Center, and welcome to Chapter 3 of Theory of Operation, How a Coleman Lamp, Lantern, and Stove Works. In Chapter 1, we discuss how we built and maintain pressure inside of a fount or a tank. In Chapter 2, we took liquid fuel and we converted it to fuel vapor. In this chapter, we'll discuss a Bunsen burner, then we'll discuss a stove and a lantern burner, and then we'll discuss mantles. This presentation can also be found at www.oldtowncoleman.com. So go freshen up your drink, and I'll be right back. Welcome back. I'd like to introduce you to a few more of my friends. I have a bracket lamp here from the 1920s. This is a model BQ and it has a 329 lampshade on it. This is a compact peak lantern, model 222B. And this is a compact peak stove, model 3024. These two 200As I have sitting here are the ones that I've been using for a test uh, between pump gas and camping fuel and that video should be out in about a week. And finally over here, I have a Lindo light pressure lamp, model number 333, because remember, basically all pressure appliances work the same way, so if you understand how a Coleman works, you certainly would understand how one of those works. In the 1850s, a gentleman named Robert Bunsen invented the Bunsen burner, and this device we've all seen in our high school chemistry class. What Mr. Bunsen figured out was, that if you mix liquid fuel with air in a controlled manner prior to ignition, that the resulting flame would be significantly hotter than if you hadn't mixed it. So all burners work the exact same way. They all take vapor, they mix it with air, and they send it to the point of ignition where we have the flame. So if you look at this picture of a single mantle lantern burner, you'll see in the center of it all is called the mixing chamber. The mixing chamber has the generator at the bottom, and you can see in this picture that I've drawn in, it looks like there is gas vapor being shot up into the mixing chamber. On the left and right side of the generator are the air intake tubes. We have free air coming up those air intake tubes into the mixing chamber where it is mixed with that vapor. It goes up through a venturi, which increases the velocity of the mixture, and then it goes into the U-tube. What the YouTube does is going to create a little vortex and it makes the mixture swirl and it turns it back down, sends it to the burner tube and finally down into the burner cap. So on a lantern, that mixture is sent down to what is called the burner cap and screen. The burner cap holds the mantle and the screen inside will evenly distribute the mixture that is coming down so when you have it burning, it will produce a nice evenly distributed blue flame. The same thing happens on a stove and I will show you the burner on this stove. I'll have to remove this lantern here to lift it up and show you. But everything that's on a lantern is on a stove also. You can see that the generator is inserted into the manifold here. Well air can be pulled up from under here and here is your Venturi and YouTube and it goes to our first burner. When it comes out of this burner, it goes into the burner box and it strikes the burner plate. The burner plate does the exact same thing as the burner screen does. It will evenly distribute the mixture so that when it is ignited, this will create a nice round flame just like it happens with the lantern. So in a stove burner, what we're after is that hot blue flame in a circular pattern. On a lantern or a lamp, it's a little bit different. We're going to take that hot blue flame and we're going to put it inside of a mantle. A mantle is basically a little sock. Uh, it's made of cotton. It used to be made of silk. And this is soaked in metal nitrate. And what you do is you tie this onto your lamp or lantern and you light it on fire. And when it burns away, what you end up with is a rigid little shell that is metal oxides. And those metal oxides, when heat is applied to them from the inside, 
is going to glow. And that glowing is called candle luminescence. And that's what makes a, a pressure lamp so bright. Now, up until about 1990, Coleman mantles had, were made from thorium dioxide. Thorium is a radioactive material and mantles like this are a little bit radioactive. It's really not enough to worry about. In the 1990s, Coleman started dipping their mantles in a chemical called yttrum. And yttrum is supposedly will give you a little bit stronger of a mantle, but it also is supposed to give you about 20% less light than the original thorium mantles. So that is basically how a Coleman lamp, lantern, and stove work. I hope you enjoyed this video series. If you have, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. This entire course is at oldtowncoleman.com. And until the next video, keep them burning.